Hey, good people. I just want you to know that I receive all your DMs and I thank you very much for them. And now I know that I need to do more fix it videos. Because I have a crew on here that love to fix things. And um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I fell down on the job a little. Anyway, I do have something for you. For all the ladies and the gents out there, I'm going to show you how I painted my iron gate back door. Okay? Thanks for all your DMs and you're keeping me on track. I truly appreciate and I truly appreciate your support. Let's go. Okay, here we have a door. My door. I'm kind of embarrassed. That should have been done a long time ago. Looking bad. First mission is to wipe down the door from all debris or dirt. I took off the hardware, the knobs, and the locks of the door. And the hardware includes me taking off the windows to this door, which involved just a couple screws. I also took off the return, and that leaves the door free in order for me to be able to get the paint in all the areas, even the smallest of areas of this door. Okay, now that I've taken all the hardware off, this door is pretty much ready. Here are some of the tools, goggles, Phillips head, and a flathead screwdriver, painting tape, and I went out and purchased uh, sanding paper that actually goes on this board, and it came with um, three types of grit, which means it... Uh, basically had a fluctuation between fine or real fine um, sanding paper and I just put this pad attached it to the board they supplied and it just sticks and it was just an easier process to uh, sand some of the areas of the door down so that I have a smooth coating uh, after the paint is dry and as you can see I have some rust-oleum and I put the rust-oleum on before I did the paint job uh, because it protects the metal and I went out and bought some uh, paint brushes a couple of them I already had I also purchased this roll of paper in order to cover the cement or certain areas from any drips. You can also use a drop cloth. After shaking up the Rust-Oleum, uh, then I proceeded to open the can. After opening the can, because it had been sitting for at least a week or two, uh, I decided to I better uh, stir it a little too. Use a stick to stir the rest of the stoleum even more in order to get all the uh, ingredients and everything mixed up real good in order to give the door a good protection that will last for a while. Well, Rustoleum is almost on the entire door. As you can see, I cover my inside door too. 100 degrees and I'm getting through it. Although I didn't show this, I outlined the entire door on the outside um, with the painter's tape to protect the stone around the door. It was too damn hot to videotape all of it, but I'm giving you what I got. Well, here I am uh, putting on second coat. For the most part, I try to paint in the same direction and use a very good brush to alleviate streaks. Okay, now for the black paint, and I borrowed some stones from my neighbor to keep my door open. 
and just take note I am not painting around where I have the stones not until the last step okay looking pretty good it's so damn hot the camera not even acting right I don't know why it's blurry sorry y'all as you can see I taped around every piece of glass I put rust-oleum on the metal part and I painted each piece of metal around the glass if I may say so myself came out pretty nice and I'm happy with it and now for putting all the hardware back on the door glass first much better y'all leave me a message let me know what are some things you'd like to see me fix see y'all my next fix it video and it's going to be on something that most people do not think about when they move into their new home or their new apartment see you there